Hi friends, so I am back with NEAT 70 days strategy. Uh, I am sure that you have seen that 100 day strategy video. So in the 100 day strategy we have divided that you have to do these many revisions, 50, 30, 20 rule. Uh, so I have got lot of messages uh, about that some of you were able to do that, some of you were not able to do that, but that is okay. Okay. So now just see to it, we have almost two and a half month left for the exam almost like 70 days to 75 days left for the exam now what should be the strategy now if you were not able to start the revision at that point of time what we discussed in the previous video then that is okay but please remember now there is no question you have to start i mean there is no question if somebody has not started by now you have to start from today itself there is no no excuses no if and but in this particular part now you have to start okay so those who are following the previous of the 100 day and following the pattern like that please do not change your pattern that has been a very much tested pattern and you are already going pretty well but if you think that you were not able to finish your course still it is not very late we can still revamp our preparation we can still revamp our strategy and we can start with this so now we have got 70 days so if somebody is finishing the course now, my general suggestion is do not think too much about the aims at this point of time, straight away focus on the NEET exam, okay. And still as the goal says that you have to do three revisions, again without a doubt, you have to do three revisions, but you have already done one, then minimum two, then you have to do, then you can do a much much better way of revision, but if you have to do three revisions over a period of 70 days, then you have to do a slightly fast revision. Please, the goal is no new things please remember it no new things at this point of time now there will be a lot of people who will be coming who will be doing this thing with you they have no interest in getting the the rank what they will be doing is they are there to decrease your confidence they will be asking you questions which are not relevant for the exam which will not be asked in the exam and you can't answer them your morale will be decreased your, you will be depressed please do not come into that trap do not come into that particular trap only and only thing that you have to focus on this is whatever that you have read are you able to recall those things at this point of time okay so that is only thing that you have to pay attention to at this point of time that are you able to recall the things that you have read okay do not read too many new things at this point of time okay one second important point is make sure that you are reading last year papers so as i told you earlier four to five year aims paper and last two year neat paper okay four to five year aims paper last two year neat paper this is must do not go beyond this do not go. I was looking at a lot of Facebook group. They were talking about last five year need paper, six, seven year need paper. They are not required. The pattern was different. It is only the 2018 and 2019 need paper that you were supposed to do, including the complete topics plus four to five year aims paper. Okay. So no new things. Make sure that you are thorough with your notes and four to five year aims paper and last two year need paper. Okay. Please make sure on this. Once you will be doing revision, I am getting lot of messages like this that sir, I am not able to recall the things. I was reading very well and now I can't do it. So this is a common thing. Please, you will forget the things and that is the aim of revision. You have to revise. You have to read the things that you have read earlier. That is absolutely okay. If you are not able to recall the things, that is absolutely okay. When I was preparing, when I started my revision, even I was not able to recall anything. That is okay. And that is bound to happen. It will happen with everybody. I mean, I mean, if you will not forget the thing, how will you gain new thing? That is going to happen. Do not worry about this. And that is why revision is, is said to be the most important part in your preparation. So you have to keep revising. You have to make list of your forgettables. Please make the list of your forgettables. Please try to identify the things that you are forgetting again and again. And that is what you have to read in the last 7 to 10 days. So last 7 to 10 days are dedicated only to your 
forgettables only to your forgettables i got lot of messages about being depressed with the full course rank please do not get depressed with the full course rank if you have appeared the appeared for the clts and you think that you have scored a very good score that is very very good congratulation but if you are not able to score great that is absolutely okay now you have identified that these are the things that you are doing wrong in the paper and now you have to improve on those identify your pattern of mistake is it you are not reading the question properly start reading them is it you are missing the except start taking care of them are you not able to complete the paper in the given time now try to divide your time in a way so that you are able to complete the paper so these are the points that you have to work upon you have to do it write one gt every 15th day at least write one gt every 15th day you have to write three four more gts in the time okay so please do not get disheartened with your rank in that gt you have to improve on your score you have to improve on each passing day try to do the gts which are simulating the atmosphere which are simulating the neat exam now i can make a gt with with question with all confusing option and you get depressed with that but that is not we are doing so try to do the gts in the dbmci app 179 onward 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 do these gts and try to see are you improving on that if you are doing it wrong why you are doing it wrong please identify your time table if you are already done with your two revision you can do with disease based revision when you are combining the subjects and doing it but if you have not done your revision then do not do disease based or do not do integrated kind of study then first revise your subject so that depends as i say always one size doesn't fit all so it will keep on changing with each and every student as again if you have any problem try try to identify it try to work on that if you are not able to identify if you are not able to work on that i am available i have got lot of messages from the students i have tried my level best to answer to each and every query there are few messages which are still left with me and i will try to answer them in the day or two if you do not get a reply in a day or two just send the query again because there might might be a chance that that message might have missed but i am available to all of you do not think twice before sending me a message okay i am available to take care of all of you please keep reading do not get depressed by seeing your score by seeing how the other people are reading you are competing with yourself at this point of time make sure that you are utilizing your time in the best possible way i wish you all the best for the exam feel free to contact me in case of a need